Hello, I am Iron Eyes Cody, and this is Trailers from Hell. I had to think about it, but it is Trailers from Hell. And now we're going to look at the most successful Western of all time. That's true. 1974 from Warner Brothers, Mel Brooks, Blazing Saddles. Mel Brooks brought his Catskills, Borscht Belt, Vaudeville, Broadway, burlesque, Jewish humor to the Western and made the parody film Blazing Saddles, which was a gigantic hit, co-written by people like Richard Pryor. It celebrated vulgarity in a really new way for a Hollywood studio. Mel had made The Producers in 1967, my favorite Mel Brooks film, which contains outrageous, brilliant performances from all involved. This movie has some wonderful performers, a great use of Slim Pickens and Harvey Corman, an astonishing use of Madeline Kahn, and Dom DeLuise appears toward the end, and I think walks away with the movie. It's a bunch of jokes, it's a bunch of shtick regarding a black sheriff in a western racist town. I'm not sure how a lot of it would play now, but at the time it was considered outrageously daring and vulgar and really funny. It was a huge success. One of the funnier things in it is Mel Brooks. Um, he is really funny. He plays not only that Indian chief, he also plays the governor with Robin Hilton, who as far as I know, her only other credit was Doc Savage, the George Pal. Good idea that didn't work. Anyway, this is a movie that has wonderful stuff in it and terrible stuff in it. It's kind of all over the place, but things in it are truly funny. Mel Brooks has had a brilliant career in television, in Broadway, in the movies, and he's someone that, you know, you can be short with a big nose, look at Dustin Hoffman, and celebrate your ethnicity in a way that's actually brave because the movie business kind of ignored being Jewish for many years. And then starting sometime in the 60s, it came to the forefront with Shelley Berman and Nichols and May and on and on. Have you ever seen such cruelty? Mel Brooks, what can I say? Most successful Western of all time. Oh.